How can you quickly add depth and dimension to your landscape images in Photoshop? I'm going to show you right now. All right, so let's get started. I'm working with an image that I shot out in Alaska last year. I actually took this from the cruise ship we were on, and it's got some good depth to it already with the rock face there on the hills, but I really want to accentuate the highlight areas in the grass and the shrubs and the trees and even on the rock face just to bring out even more depth. So what I've done to start out is create a brightness and levels adjustment just to bring back some of the details. And uh, this is a pretty good starting point, but what I'm gonna show you is how to quickly and easily dodge and burn just to affect the areas that I wanna affect. So we're gonna use a tool called Lumenzia. So up here is the Lumenzia panel and we're gonna create luminosity masks to make sure that we have a stencil that we can use to not fall outside the lines of where we uh, are trying to affect the image. So you have darks, mediums, and lights, which correspond to the uh, luminosity values, the brightness values of your image. And I'm gonna start by clicking L for L1. And you can see what it's done over here is to uh, make the areas brighter that it's going to affect. If I were to click L2, you can see that I'm really losing all the areas that I want to affect for the most part, uh, the grass and the rocks. So I'm going to start with L1. And now I'm going to refine our stencil by coming down here to the levels that's built into the uh, Lumenzia layers. And I'm going to add just a little bit of contrast. So I'll, I'll add a little bit more than I normally would. And this kind of gets us back to where that L2 was. So I'll bring it back. And now I'm just going to show you, I'm going to hone in on just the areas that I want to affect. So anything that's darker, uh, I can try to paint over that. And it's not really going to do much, which is great. So now I have a good stencil that I can use to dodge and burn. So now I'm going to click dodge for dodge and burn. I'm going to leave this at transparent pixels, and then I'm going to click dodge and burn. And then we're all set. Uh, if you're using a mouse, you can just click Z for zoom. I'm using a Wacom tablet with a pen. So on my Mac, I'm going to hold down command and spacebar just to zoom in a little bit. And oop, a little bit too much. Back up a little. All right. So now I'm going to sample the area. And by the way, if you hold down the spacebar, you can move around wherever you've zoomed in. So maybe I'll sample this area over here. I'm uh, gonna take one of the lighter areas of grass and shrubs. And what I wanna do is choose a color that's brighter and more saturated than what's actually on my image because we want to draw the ire, <laughs> draw the ire. We want to draw the viewer's eyes towards things that are brighter and more saturated, which is what our eyes do naturally. So I'm gonna choose this color up here and maybe reduce my brush size a little bit. I've got um, about 40% opacity, which is pretty good. And now I'm just gonna start painting. And remember, I have this stencil that I've created in Lumenzia for my luminosity mask. So I can be a little bit clumsy when I'm coming in here to draw because I don't have to worry so much about the darker areas. Maybe I'll reduce my brush size just to make sure I'm hitting more of the highlights on the grass and, and shrubs. And of course, this is demonstration purposes. So if I were spending time doing this on my photo uh, for real, I would spend a whole lot more time and attention doing this. But you'll see in just a second how easy it is to make such a huge difference just by creating this luminosity mask and come up here into some of these brighter areas. Maybe come down here a little bit just to show you what we've got. So now we're gonna back out just a little bit to show you where we are. Move that back over. And if I turn that off and on, you can see we have affected the image quite a bit already, but just in the areas that we wanted to do it. So that's a good start. What I'll do now is sample from other areas. So I'm gonna zoom back in just a little bit here. And maybe I wanna hit this rock face. So I'll sample from that area. And again, I'm gonna bring it uh, more, I'm going to make my color brighter and more saturated. And then I'm just gonna start painting on there. And you can already see it. 
in the live view how it is doing just that. And of course, I could, if I wanted to just be sure, sample a slightly different area if I'm coming down here. And look, it is. It's a little bit more orange than in that red tone. So sometimes it is good to stop and readjust what you have selected for your sample before you move into your image too far. Oops. And then select that again. Just come down here. And again, I'm, I'm just really doing this for demonstration purposes, but you can see when I turn this off and on, just how much we've been able to affect the image. It's adding both brightness and contrast and also some color, which is really gonna add depth and dimension to your image. So now I'll show you the final product. Here's what it looks like after I took the time to really work with this photo and, and make a whole bunch of other edits. And now you know how easy it is to create uh, a dodge and burn layer and uh, use a stencil using low, uh, Lumenzia to create this luminosity mask uh, for your stencil. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And we've got plenty more where that came from. Folks, I hope this helped you. Take care.